you um, share this idea that that we could uh, use this sacred to sanctified approach of a, embracing our limits, which I think this is where the conversation needs to go for women. What do you mean by embracing our limits as it pertains to social media? Yeah. You know, Jen Wilkin writes one of our first chapters. She's such a good job. And she said, she revealed kind of to me as I was reading it, like this is, social media promises you that you can be limitless. You can be mm. friends with everybody. You can know everything. You can know everything immediately as it's happening. Um, it just promises that you can be everywhere. It just, um, it, all of our technology, the more technology we get, the more it makes us feel like we're like God in yeah. those omniscient and omnipresent ways. And social media True. is no different. And it promises to us a limitless existence. However, I am not God. I cannot work in every situation that I see on social media in a way that gives glory to God and brings good to the world. And so as a limited creature that has finite resources and time and attention, for me to scroll through a news feed and see a hurting family followed by an ad for Hobby Lobby, followed by a gender, you know, reveal party, followed by a somebody's kid did this, followed by somebody went camping. Like it's just a lot for our brain to process. And yeah. we don't process it fast enough and it makes us anxious. And that is one reason mm. why I'm feeling so anxious all that anxiety all the time. So embracing yeah, your they're... limit, remembering that you're limited is is one of your keys to success. Hey, you just saw a short clip from Grounded. To watch the full episode and more episodes like it, check out the link below.